can be one of the toughest times for families who rely on school food programs to make ends meet. But thanks to the United Way, a new food truck serves free, healthy, and nutritious meals to children living in underserved neighborhoods. Tim Cipriano is the Executive Director of Food Services for New Haven Public Schools, and he's joined by Sarah Bork, the school wellness dietitian. Welcome both to the show. It's nice to have you here. Thanks for having Thank us. You. So tell us about these food trucks. It's almost like a, an ice cream truck, so would you say? No, nothing like an ice cream truck. <laughs> Good, I'm glad we, I read my script yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. We don't serve desserts in our schools. So, uh, you know, we're serving, you know, you know, healthy, good food. So if you want something sweet, it's a piece of uh, fresh fruit, okay. you know, from a local farm. Or uh, we're doing tasty sandwiches and salads and ice cold milk. Oh, um, good. Fresh fruit and driving well, to the neighborhoods and feeding kids. I think we need to explain that these children won't eat otherwise. Right. Right. So one in four kids in New Haven lacks access to nutritious meals every day. These are the same kids that rely on school meal programs to eat. And then when school's out, there's possibly no programs for them to go to. Summer school is a short period of time, so then there's a you know a four-week period where there's no food right. available. So we wanted to uh, you know kind of tackle that, put a truck together, drive around, and feed the kids that need to eat. That's great. And you're also nominated for an award. Yes. This is kind of cool. Yep. Uh, through the Food Network, it's the it's the Great Food Truck Race. That's awesome. It's, yep. So you can go online and vote for the truck every day. And there are, uh, the USDA has um, a summer meal program. It's an extension of the school lunch program. Okay. And typically that's offered at sites. So usually schools in New Haven offer free meals. But um, the truck is wonderful for families who have a hard time with transportation and getting sure. to the meal. So we're bringing the meals to the kids. That's a terrific idea. Way to go. And uh, what are we making here today? So today we're making a, a roasted sweet potato and black bean salad. So All we're right. going to get started. We're yeah, gonna, let's do that. We're just going to cut up some, some garlic, really small, nothing, nothing fancy. We want to make this uh, a recipe that's going to be very easy for anybody to make. So in the bowl we have um, pre-roasted sweet potatoes, which was just sweet potatoes cut up, cooked at 425 with salt and pepper and a little bit of oil. Okay. And then canned green, or, yeah, green beans, right? They look brown yeah, to me, yeah, too. They're, well, they're actually <laughs> black beans, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, we're, uh, we like our colors. So, yeah. um, so canned black beans, and then we rinse them to uh, reduce the sodium. Yep, um, a lot of people shy away from drying, buying dried beans because it's a little bit cumbersome to soak them and make them the right way, so they buy canned beans. Um, canned beans can be a little bit high in sodium, and everyone nowadays is worried about their sodium intake, which sure. they should be. So uh, one really quick, easy tip is if you want to drain the beans first in a colander and then uh, rinse them, you can actually remove about 40% of the sodium. So you can still save time by buying canned, and then you can still reduce your sodium intake, and they still oh, taste that's great. That's very helpful. Yes, tip. absolutely. So Tim, you fed this to your children, and they like this, right? So No, I, would, I, I fed it to one child. The other <laughs> two said um, no thank you um, well, we're tried. full <laughs> from uh, dinner but um, one you know my seven-year-old um, son James uh, tasted it and ate it and liked it so Good. you know one is better than none um, all the time so I'm gonna cut these up and then have you squeeze the lime juice oh I could do that into the right into the right into the bowl oh, okay well I try to get this oh, um, such nice fresh ingredients this going yeah so the the garlic came from uh, Barnard School, which is in New Haven. Yeah, they have which I a, think is so interesting. There's a garden there. Yeah, we oh, have a, a number of gardens in our schools. Um, the tomatoes and the Swiss chard are from Waldingfield Farm, and they sell at the New Haven uh, Farmer's Markets on uh, Wednesdays and then on Saturdays. And they're an organic farm in Connecticut. And uh, we don't necessarily you know, use organic produce in our schools because of the cost factor, but we really want to emphasize uh, and push fresh fruits and vegetables in our schools, and uh, certainly a number from local farms as well. So I know that school lunches have changed quite a bit since I was in school, and probably you were in school. What yes. are some of the major differences, would you say? There's just, uh, overall, all the standards for nutrition are a lot higher now, mm -hmm. so schools are being required to make sure that they're um, meeting the new USDA uh, dietary guidelines. So. This year will be, um, our menus have always met those guidelines, but we'll be sure to try to include some new things like the salad um, and other types of, um, lots of emphasis on green, dark green veggies and also orange. Mm -hmm. um, it's important because the orange vegetables are really high in uh, beta carotene, which actually turns into vitamin A in your body. So we're trying to make sure the kids get all their vitamin A. Um, and that's one of the great reasons why we love this salad. Now, Tim, what are you doing in the saucepan? So there? I just cut up a, a couple leaves of Swiss chard. Uh, I want to add some, you know, a, a 
a green veggie that's pretty potent and okay. chock full of good uh, nutrition. And then just a quick saute to uh, kind of break it down and make it a little bit softer. All and right. then uh, and I chopped up some cilantro and, uh, and tomatoes and scallions and then that's it so you can I mix you can mix it up I'm gonna drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil and then and then Ooh. we're, and then no, we're done that, I mean, uh, you could find a salad bars in the New Haven Public Schools right so we're kicking off a, a salad bar program this year we're gonna have a salad bar in every one of our schools Oh, terrific! And so we're gonna really increase access to uh, fresh vegetables in our schools. Great. Well, we're just about out of time, so we're going to try this at the end of the show. Absolutely. I want to thank you both for being here, and thank good you. luck with the food truck. Thank you very much. Terrific. All right, thank coming you. up next, we'll tell you how you could walk across southeastern Connecticut for breast cancer. That's when Connecticut Style returns. Stay with us.